Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a quadratic function and decide whether it has a maximum or a minimum. So in order to do that, the first thing that you need to do is look at the direction of opening. For this particular one, because of the fact that the leading coefficient or the number in front of x squared is negative, it tells us that it opens downward. So if you think about what that would look like, our parabola would open this way. So we can see clearly by drawing the picture that this one would have a maximum point. So if it asks you to find the maximum, the maximum is simply the vertex. This is where the parabola changes directions. And instead of going up from left to right, it starts going down from left to right. And that happens at the vertex. So if it asks you to find the maximum point, what you would do is use the vertex formula. And the vertex formula, the x coordinate is found by doing negative b over 2a. And the y coordinate is just after I plug that value back into my function. So we're going to look at this. Remember from our function that this is our a term is the leading coefficient. Our b term is the term in front of x, including the sign. So always make sure that you include the sign. So we're going to go through and find the x coordinate first. So we would do negative 20 divided by 2 times our a term, which is negative 2. So we really have negative 20 divided by negative 4, which would give us positive 5. And now to find the maximum, the maximum actually occurs at the y coordinate. So it is the y coordinate of the vertex. So we're going to plug in 5. We're going to find f of 5 by plugging that into our original equation. So I'm going to replace all of my x values with 5. So x squared would become 5 squared plus 20 times 5 minus 3. So if I simplify this, I would have negative 2 times 25 plus 100 minus 3. So if we further simplify, this would be negative 50 plus 100 would be positive 50. And positive 50 minus 3 would be 47. So if it asks for the maximum value, you are looking for only the y coordinate of the vertex. So the maximum at 47 when x equals 5. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.